5.2 G, area volume and temperature, volume of a cylinder. The volume of a cylinder can be found by the formula pi r squared h. This means we need to know a couple things about our shape. First, the radius, which is always the center to the edge. Secondly, the height, which is from the bottom to the top. Knowing these two, we will be able to find the volume of a cylinder. In example one, we are asked to find the volume of the following cylinder. As you can see, the height is given, but there is also a diameter given. When we are given a diameter, we have to remember that the radius equals the diameter divided by two, or that it is essentially six feet divided by two, which means that our radius is three feet. Now that we know our radius and our height, we may complete this question. We know that it, the volume is pi times the radius, or three feet, squared times the height, or eight feet. We now must start with the exponent, making this nine feet squared, which we will multiply by the eight feet. We now multiply the eight feet and the nine feet squared to get 72 feet cubed which is now multiplied by pi. We know the value of pi, so we can substitute it in at this point. When we substitute 3.14 for the value of the height, we get a volume of 226.08 feet cubed. This is the volume of our cylinder. In example two, we will be looking at a story problem. In example two, we have a can of soda that is about five inches tall with a diameter of 2.5 inches. How much soda can fit into the can? Sometimes it is helpful to draw a quick image. We can then label our pieces. We know that the can is five inches tall. We also know that the diameter or the distance across is 2.5 inches. Since our formula of volume equals pi r squared h requires us to have a radius and not a diameter, we will need to find the radius. We know that the radius is the diameter divided by two, therefore it is 2.5 inches divided by two, which results in 1.25 inches. We can now use this in our formula. We have volume equals the radius, or 1.25 inches, squared times the height, which was five inches. We start by doing the exponent and doing 1.25 squared, which gives us 1.5625 inches squared. This still needs to be multiplied by the five inches and the pi. When we multiply it by the pi, it then results in the number 7.8125 inches cubed. We now substitute in the value for pi, which is 3.14, and multiply that by the 7.8125 inches cubed. This now results in a final volume of 24.53125. This can be rounded to the hundredths, giving us a volume of 24.53 inches cubed. Remember when doing story problems, it is sometimes helpful to draw an image. Also, remember that when given a diameter, you must find the radius before you can plug it into the formula.